Good evening, everybody, and welcome back into the C Show. Chris coming at you here for a minute. We'll talk about a little coaching hire that was made over the past few days. And, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and expecting a different result. That couldn't be any more true than what the Florida Gators have just did. Since Steve Spurrier stepped down after the 2002 season, the Florida Gators have now hired their sixth head coach in 19 seasons. And let's look at these six head coaches. The first one they hired was Ron Zook. Uh, that was a head scratcher because that was a man Steve Spurrier had fired. Zook lasted three seasons and finished with a record of 23-14 and 14 and 16-8 and eight in the conference and 0-2 record. Then the Gators hit a home run. They went out and they hired Urban Meyer. And Urban turned in a remarkable success there with the, with the Gators. Yeah, he kind of left them in shambles, and Urban's a drama queen. But at the same time, Urban did produce. Urban was there. Urban was there six years. He went 85 and 16. He 36 and 13 in the conference, five and one in bowls, and two national championships. So off Urban left, and then the Gators thought they had another home run. A golden boy, the coach in waiting. Somebody everybody wanted. Coach Boom. Will Muschamp. And what a boom it was. Boom was there. Boom was there four years. He went 28 and 21, 17 and 15 in the conference, and 1 and 0 in bowl games. And the low point was when he lost at home to, to Georgia Southern. And then they went out and they hired another coach at a mid major. And they hired Greg. McElwain, who looked like a solid hire, I guess. I guess. He did coach up under Saban. He was at Colorado, and he had a record out there of 22-12, and 16-6 in the conference, and 1-1 one in, one in bowls. Hmm, okay. All right. I guess that was an okay hire. And boy, did it turn out to a disaster. I mean suspensions, the saying he got death threats. I mean, I, I don't know what was going on through that guy's mind, but it was a crash and burn. So then they hired what on paper looked like a slam dunk. Dan Mullen, office coordinator up under Urban, had been a huge success at Mississippi State, a consistent winner. Who, I mean, surely he's going to win at Florida, right? No. It was another crash and burn. So what does Florida do? Florida goes out and they hire a big name head coach, right? They go out there and they throw some money at uh, Bob Stoops. They throw some money at Urban Meyer and bring him home, right? Uh, they go out there and they hire uh, another uh, up and coming coach. Coming out of, like, Mel Tucker coming out of Michigan State. No, they don't go hire him. Who does Florida go and hire? Who is, I mean, was this the number one person on their list? They went out and they hired, they hired Bill Napier, who's been at the University of Louisiana for four years with the 39 and 12 record, and he went 11 and 1 this year. Well, Florida fans, I hope you're happy with your hire. Um, enjoy the next three or four years, and come this time in December of 2025, you'll be out looking for another coach, and maybe this time you'll learn from your past mistakes. Because remember, doing the same thing over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. This is Chris on the Florida Gators football hire. Hope you enjoyed this segment. Chris out.